Hello everybody, JT Bear here on a fine and sunny November day here in Manitoba. So I have uh, decided to take this opportunity while the ground has warmed up a little bit to go and finally gather some mud. So hopefully I can get around to making that earthen oven. I have tested it in a few applications with mixed results and uh, well, I'll show you what we've got going there. There's a Manitoba mud update for the greenhouse on the JT Bear channel. You can check out what's going on with that. That's definitely mixed results. Here we have a little clump that I put in a Ziploc sandwich baggie the same time I did that uh, work in the greenhouse. Let me get a better angle on this. You can see it's still pretty pliable. Still looking pretty good. I haven't tested it in a jar yet. But uh, I have noticed that the stuff that I washed off my hands is basically still suspended in the rainwater bucket. So, not a lot of sand in this. This would be the third application that it's received. It's uh, been allowed to, to dry and harden. And it makes a pretty decent clay, I've got to say. So, I am uh, content to try an earthen oven with this. Obviously, it'll be thicker than that. So, I'm not too worried about it instantly breaking. But, off to collect some mud. Well, that's a little better without the sun directly in my face, but boy, have I got to clean this camera lens, eh? Anyway, we're out here in the back field now, and uh, I'll show you what I'm collecting from, for those of you who don't know. This field has recently been turned over, and it's got a bazillion large clumps on it, so like I've said previously on other videos, I'm not going to be digging any holes, that's not cool. But I'm just going to be gathering lumps and clumps from off the top of this. Until I got what I figure I need. Doggy shot. So after less than a minute of working it and rounding it into a ball, that's what I've got. And I'll uh, just collect a whole lot more then. Well, I've got a few more on there. I'm going to go find uh, something I can seal them up in so they can stay moist until I go to use them. Alright, well I didn't bring any of my buckets with lids, so I've got this crate here. I'm just going to fold the top of the tarp over this a few times and hope that does the trick. So I just did a little test dig in our backyard here and it looks like we've got basically the same quality of clay soil mud going on in here as we do in the backfield. So I think we might just start a little bit of strip mining back here. Get things done that way. So with yesterday's exploration we learned that I've got that same fine Manitoba mud running through my yard, which makes perfect sense. Did a little test hole here, not a good spot for it, so I'm going to fill that back in, but we are going to move up to over where the dog is with those branches. So I'm not sure how well the camera is picking up this slope on the lawn here, but it all kind of curves down towards that tree in the back and down towards that where that hole is. So that might end up as part of a drainage trench anyway. But, what I'm kind of thinking is, I'm going to quarry this out so that I've got mud I need for a whole lot of other projects. And I think in the long term, this might just turn into one of those kind of underground greenhouses situations. Because these trees, I don't think they're going to be here long. And I'm positive those trees will not be here by summer. Lots of plans for other trees though up along the fence line and up along the road. These trees are history, I already started working on that. Which brings us to this uh, awkward looking little pile of sticks I've got going on here. Now winter is coming and if I want to dig and have mud and have clay I'm going to need to uh, make some sort of quick shelter over this. I'm both broke and cheap so that means I'm going to use what I find around a couple winters back, uh, some buddies of mine went camping in the deep snow. They built a fantastic little lean-to shelter out of branches pretty much like this. So I'm going to try and build the north wall and, uh, you know, basically the side walls out of this if I can. And then the south-facing wall, I'm going to put some uh, just cheap plastic over it for now. But in theory, that should give me a little extra heat in there and make the uh, earth a little more workable and uh, get this whole process going a little faster. So, who knows? This might actually work. Maybe. So I've gotten to that point in my adventure where digging for mud has turned into primitive construction. Alright, well, 
you got to be prepared to adapt and uh, you know that is one thing I, I seem to do rather a lot of is, is find myself adapting as the situation changes so I'm going to uh, try and throw up a lean-to let's see if this works seems to me this one here has got some good potential for uh, holding a beam across the whole thing I'm gonna go grab my saw and get back to this all right, well, this is much taller than I need it to be. So, I think around the midpoint, I'm just gonna cut that into a bit of a point, drive it down. Well, I guess that is a start. Well, clean that up a little bit more, and I'm on my way. It's not very tall, but I do plan on digging down, right? So, this will do for now, if it even stands through the first wind. Never really built one of these, okay? I saw it once, you know, and I'm taking the JT Bear approach. While it's kind of a bad joke at this point, it'll be interesting to see what comes of it all. I've leaned the branches from the ground up to that uh, cross beam. It's already starting to waver a little bit under the weight, so we'll see how that works. I cut off the ends of the branches here so they're all relatively the same length and I may or may not tie them into place. I don't know. Sun's going down. So I think that's probably the end of today. I'm supposed to have snow coming soon. I wonder if this will survive. Ah, oh, whatever. It's a start. I got a lot more pine I can bring down, so I can reinforce this along the way. And I'm clearly gonna need to, but ah, what if I'm gonna spend the afternoon hanging out with the dog playing in the dirt. So I think this is where I'm going to end the uh, video that started off as digging for mud and turned into building a lean-to to, to uh, cover up where I'm going to dig for mud. So, all right, if you stuck around this far, thank you so much for being part of the journey. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, all right, tune in, uh, I don't know, next few videos to find out what comes of this pile of rubble, right? Yeah, it might actually stand. Who knows? All right, everybody, I'll see you later.